Welcome to our continuing coverage of the 2016 European Lacrosse Championships from Budapest, Hungary. A Bull B matchup today featuring the Scottish national team, a record of 3-0 and Austria 1-3 coming into this game as Austria and their lone win against Denmark, a 15-7 victory and Scotland has been one of the best teams in the tournament so far. 3-0 wins over Ireland, Denmark, and Norway. It's Scotland in blue and Austria in white. And we're going to procedure on the faceoff. It'll be Austrian ball. Austria, who did not participate in the 2012 European Championships, in Amsterdam, played in 2008, and played in the World Championships. In 2014, Valentin Gruber was on that World Championship team. the team that played in Denver in 2014. So it's Austria starting with the possession. This is Klaus Hauer who has been their sniper. The leading point man for Austria in this tournament with 13 goals coming into today. that has only scored 23, a save made by Scotland. Ethan Harris, a long-standing keeper for the Scottish national team, ninth international appearance for Scotland. He started in the 2000 European Championships. Hosted in Scotland. The Scottish took third in that tournament. Scotland throwing it away. Participation in the European Championships has continued to grow for the first several from 95 through 2001. There were only six teams. Then that doubled in 2004 up to 12. 18 in 08. Dropped by one 17 in Amsterdam in 2012. And then a record high for team participation here in 2016 with 24 teams. Poland and Russia making first appearances, as are Slovenia. And really blustering in the early going of this game. Austria curling around, good idea, but the pass was knocked down by Matt Hill. Now we're going to get a cross-checking penalty on Andy O'Donnell, a defenseman for Scotland. Captain of his club team, Edinburgh City. pass across intended for Lawrence and it goes out of bounds at Stuart McGregor Dallas between the pipes for Scotland he might be the smartest guy on the field. Masters in science in infectious diseases from the University of Edinburgh and did postdoctoral research at Princeton University here in the States. Gotland a shot saved by Christoph Kunert. Kunert at around 45 save percentage. Allowing 38 goals so far in the tournament, 31 saves. 
Gets a first big one. And Austria will go back to work. Thomas Kiss holding up top for the Austrians. And this is Marvin Lurch. Lurch shoved off by the midfielder, Tom Gilbrook. Vegeta looking right in on the crease. Quick stick by Hauer as Klaus Hauer adds to his team high total 14 on the tournament. And Austria takes a 1-0 lead. Well, an excellent start for Austria, who have not had a ton of time on top in this tournament. Lost to Norway, they were down three nothing early on. Went over Denmark, they scored the first goal. So that is really about it for the Austrians. Scotland trying to answer. Left side, a shot, kick saved by Kunert. Long carom out near midfield, and it's scooped up. By Pachaduski. Here's Carey holding. Double team sliding to his right. Sees an opening. Carey inside. Just missing target. Matt Carey, a member of the 2014 World Championship team that took sixth. And Scotland. Taking a timeout. A little over six minutes gone in this game. Look to this point at what has been the week in Budapest for both squads, Austria, and their lone win against Denmark. A very tough Group B, Wales and Ireland. Scotland, they've held serve, remain unbeaten the close opening day victory against Ireland and then making quick work of Denmark. Norway kept it close for a while against Scotland. And Scotland-Wales coming up on Tuesday, which should be another competitive game as Scotland and Ireland was. And of course, Anything you miss on the European Championships, you can catch it on ELF Nightly, your home for the day's recaps of the European Championships. Highlights and analysis all right here on LAC Sports Network, your home for the 2016 Euro Championships. Crowd on hand so far. Fair amount of Austrian supporters. Scotland will have it coming out of the timeout. Austria leading 1 0 off the goal by Klaus Hauer. A little hesitation from Carey. Coming to the right side, Ryan Sage. Barrington at X, looking to the side, hitting off the side of the netting. Kept alive for Scotland, up top. Top left corner goal for Matt Carey. Well, the Austrian defense almost looked like it was caught off guard and had stopped playing, let their guard down a moment after that first shot from Farrington hit the side of the netting. They let up just enough and Scotland moved the ball around, found Carey who put in the first goal today. Played collegially at Misericordia College, D3 University in Anvil, Pennsylvania. Their all-time leading goal scorer 
150 career goals. Barry, the leading scorer, or second leading scorer for Scotland. Coming into today, a couple goals behind Pasajewski. The 1-1 one, one tied in the seventh minute. This is Martin Crawford. You know, the confidence is there for this Scottish team. Coming off their sixth place finish at the World Championships in 2014, a lot of that team playing here. Here's Tim Mottram, so a box lacrosse player. Plays for Glasgow University. Pro hop for Jeffries. Bryce Jeffrey played for that 2014 team. Pasajewski, leading scorer for Scotland. The native of Prince George, British Columbia. Tough pass. Austrian defender Martin Neubauer has a bait on it. After some not close games with Wales and Ireland, Austria trying to finish off group play with a strong performance against the top team in the group, Scotland. Emil Landgrieb. is Howard. Team's only goal scorer for Austria. O'Donnell streaking up ahead for Scotland. Feeds off to Farrington and he scurries off. Ryan Sage on. Another British Columbia native. Played for Mars Hill University. Remember that World Championship squad in Denver as well. His shot Locked away by Cunner. Salksbrunn had it for a moment. Nice pass ahead to Lohner. Just past the midway portion of the first quarter, tied at one. Final game in group stage for both these teams, Austria and Scotland. Scotland's trying, trying to stay perfect on the tournament. This is Gruber. Reinsberger. Roll dodge. Gotland double coming. Shot from the right points. Whizzes past McGregor, Dallas. Austria playing a good possession game right now. 
This really going to plan for them, tied at one. Not too many miscues. One there though. And it's Scotland coming away. Ryan Sage bringing the ball upfield. A good back check, well timed by Neubauer. Recovered by Kevin Archer. Club team is Glasgow City. This is Callum Tehanski, who's had a very eventful summer, played in BC a couple weeks ago at the U19 games for Scotland. And then coming back here to represent the senior team. Barrington at X. Split dodge coming across, good ball movement and a good time check. Erber doing just enough physically to get himself in the way of that follow through and limit the damage on Cunner. Scotland moving ahead. This is Gilbrook again, and now Pasajewski. This is coming from an adjacent field. About six minutes remaining in the first quarter. 91. Barrington holding it X. Barrington trying to pass, looking for Pasajewski, but his pass goes off the back of the crossbar and out of bounds. Clearing game right now, good for Austria. Lurch bringing it up. Burger. Kiss trying to dump it off behind him. Beat for the Austrian player. We'll have a whistle as Fujita had nowhere to go. He stepped in the crease. Low scoring first quarter between these two. As we're tied at one with a few minutes remaining. Vickers. Scotland will get it into the box. Ryan Sage. Straight away for Carey. Here's Carey dumping off. Lefty shot. Goes in for a Pasadewski. Coming in, stick ready. Left handed shot. And the two leading scorers for Scotland hook up to put the Scots on top, two to one. Harry finding Pasadewski. At the 16.05 mark of the first quarter. Face off win for Austria. And Marvin Lurch has it. They've not had a lot of opportunity, Austria, in terms of shots on goal, but I've been impressed so far with their ability to handle the ball. And a shot going out of bounds that time from Klaus Hauer. Not made a ton of unforced errors. A 
to do so here. Gatlin picking up off to the races. Pasajewski across the cage and a save by Cunard. Well positioned. And a crease violation on Scotland after the shot. We get a hold. A 30 second penalty on Johannes Lohner on holding. So Scotland will go on the man advantage. Ryan Sage with it. Now oh, it's Richardson. Ian Vickers. Across again, lefty shot. Just missing target from Matt Carey. Penalty has been released. We're back to all even. It's Austrian ball. <laughs> Philip Sturzinger overthrows its intended target. About 30 seconds remaining in the first quarter of play. Pete Ross in some trouble in front of his own bench. Offsides whistled against Scotland. Picked up by Kaminsky. And that will be the end of the first quarter. So a slow start for Scotland, but they scored the last two in the quarter and hold Austria to one. Two to one Scotland on top after one.